every single day. As a manager, it's your job to be mutual when you're dealing with a group. However, it mm -hmm. may not look mutual all all the time to the to everyone because of who the person um, is that brought you in. Yeah. So and um, and keep in mind, you got to appease the lead singer as well. Wow. So that's a job in itself. You got to keep the lead singer happy. You also got to keep the um, um, the other singers happy as well. You know, and they all had three different strong personalities and they all brought something to the group. SWV is just not about Lily. It's just not about Taj. It's just not about Coco. It's like it's like someone trying to go outside and cut grass with one arm it's doable, but it's going to be hard. Yeah. You, you know, what I'm saying? you know, um, Coco needs Lily. Lily needs Taj. Taj needs Coco. You know, vice versa. You know, they all need each other. Mm -hmm. You know, and I want to say that for seven years, I kept that train going. And um, we was able to achieve um, some great things. We released the I Missed This album. That's a great album. Um, we were nominated for a Grammy. Wow. Yep. Um, the Soul Train. I'm going to give you a story. Is that the Alicia Soul Keys Train. one? No. Okay. That was, that was not Soul Train. I want to say that was. Ladies of Soul. Was that Soul Train or the Grammys? No. Maybe that was Soul Train. Okay. Maybe it was. I thought it was the Grammys. But. I had SWV come down to Vegas just to hang out and to to let everybody know they was back and this and that. Just get their faces back out there. And they wasn't supposed to do anything. However, I convinced the um the show manager to allow them to introduce to be on the show. So we had to get some clothes at the last minute. Everybody was out there, even um E1 who had signed SWV. They were on the fence if they want to sign them or not. They were going back and forth. I'm like, man, come on, it makes sense. So they were introducing Jasmine Sullivan. She was just coming out. And I said, when you get out there to introduce them, to do introduce her, I want you to do a little bit of weak acapella. Everybody was in the audience. And I said, everybody from Missy, from all, all the rappers, from all the great um, singers, um, producers, all of them was in the audience. They get out there and they sung a little bit of weak acapella. That sealed the deal of E1. Them. The crowd went crazy. Now, Soul Train was upset because um, you're supposed to get that stuff um, approved in advance oh. for licensing. Oh. You know, but so they so if you ever go back and look at that Soul Train um, show and see them, uh, it shows them it shows them um, shows them excuse me, introducing Jasmine but not singing um, weak acapella. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But do what you gotta do, and I did what I thought I had to do to to um, get everybody talking about SWV, and that's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah. How, how, so at this time, what was your, because you're talking about making connections with showrunners, getting them their outfits and count. Where are you getting all this sort of uh, industry savvy and knowledge about, okay, running this things? Like, where does that all, <laughs> where are you getting them all from? <laughs> um, You know, it was just what I felt like. It was not coming from, it was it, it was all new to me, but you know I've seen it. You know I was friends with um, God. What is his name? Drew Hill's manager. Uh, well, I can't think of his name. I was friends with Drew Hill's manager. Um, I was friends with um, a few other managers, um, including Brooke Payne, who later managed SWV. You know, Brooke, um, in addition, Brooke Payne. Yes, Brooke Payne. Yes, wow. absolutely. 
Um, God, I can't think, but he really knew it. His manager really stepped in, and 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 also was friends with Gavin. He was managing Salt and Pepper. He was managed. He was married to Salt. Okay. He was a good friend. Yeah. So you know, there were some things that was just basic that you need to know. You know, I what I was trying to do is keep this train going. At that time, SWV wasn't the SWV that you see today. Mm. They were still out the kinks, tighten up the relationship, um, tighten up their business. You know, um, just getting back out there, letting everybody know they were there and and they were there to stay because we didn't know. I mm. didn't know. There were times no SWV was going to survive, not because of me, but because of other things that was going on. You know, so I was trying to. Keep the train moving as much as much as I could. You know, when you're dealing with three different when you're dealing with three different females that have three different personalities, they're from New York. Yeah, from New York, I was gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. And at that time, they really didn't deal with what led to the breakup. They touched on it a little bit, talked about it, they got back together and kept going. And some of those things that were happening previously that led to the breakup, they were creeping in, you know? And um, when I tell you that I wanted to make sure that they stayed together, man, nobody loved those girls more than Corey Taylor. You know, <laughs> I love I love them, you know? I love them, you know? And I did... Um, what I thought I could do to keep that glue together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To keep them together. You know, it didn't mm -hmm. always work. But, um, you know, we definitely, we definitely uh, were able to do some amazing things. They did the Black Girls Rock. You know, they went on tour. Um, I had them in Africa, the Philippines, mm -hmm. um, London, just all over. You know, they're, they're a global group. They're a mm. global group. Um, yeah, yeah, because yeah. we we filmed in London. We too, we filmed we filmed a show in London. Mm. Yeah, yep, yep. We were filming in London. Yep. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Half Time Chat community. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, but most importantly, why don't you consider being a member? That's a way of supporting the channel but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Halftime Chat.